Mass shootings at school has long been a major concern here in the Hudson Valley. In fact, just three years ago, a plan, a commission in Westchester County, came up with a list of recommendations to improve safety at local schools. News 12's Nadia Galindo shows us the progress made on one of those recommendations. The Creating Safer Schools report is the result of the Westchester County School Safety Commission formed during the 2018-2019 school year and came at a time when calls for action to stop school shootings were at an all-time high. It's not okay. The time for turning a blind eye is over. The commission, composed of educators, mental health experts, and law enforcement, produced four major recommendations, one of them being threat prevention. So when the student has a concern about their friend, a teacher has a concern, a parent, is this all coming to one place? Brandon Cruz is the supervisor of school safety and facilities at Southern Westchester BOCES, which provides training to school districts. He also sat on this commission and says the recommendation to implement threat assessment teams at schools is one of the most useful in prevention. Although it's something that's not mandated in New York State schools, it's something that we have been trying to push. These teams are composed of a school administrator, mental health professional, and a member of local law enforcement. The teams identify students at risk of harming themselves or others, determine if a situation presents an imminent threat, and then follow up on next steps that are needed. Districts like White Plains Public Schools already have threat assessment teams, and Southern Westchester BOCES provides training to districts to help create or enhance teams something that we've been talking about, but it's something that we really want to see take a foothold, not only in our region, but in schools in general. Another point Cruz focused on is the follow up portion of these teams. He says, yes, punishment like suspensions are warranted in some cases, but he believes schools should also provide support to those students when they return so they can succeed. Nadia Galindo, News 12.